Mr. Speaker, I rise today in recognition of the 74th anniversary of the liberation of Guam during World War II. This morning, I just came from Arlington National Cemetery, where Mrs. Irene Scambaluri, a survivor of the occupation of Guam, joined me and Congressman Sablon in laying a memorial wreath at the tomb of the unknown. Mrs. Scambaluri is a dear friend of mine, and Mr. Speaker, she happens to be in the audience today in the gallery, and I thank her. And I was honored to host her here in our nation's capital for this solemn anniversary. The Chamorro people of Guam endured 32 months of occupation and wartime atrocities with thousands of our island's finest murdered, brutalized, and forced into concentration camps. Mrs. Scambalori's father was taken by the Japanese and she was later forced into a concentration camp for the remainder of the war. Today, I introduce the Occupation of Guam Remembrance Act in recognition of the atrocities endured by the Chamorro people of Guam during World War II. We must never, ever forget the sacrifices made by our island's Menumco. These are the elders during the war. My Occupation of Guam Remembrance Act will ensure that all those victims and survivors who submitted for war claims will have their names inscribed on the memorial wall at the Asan Bay Overlook in the War in the Pacific National Park. The memorial wall is the only national monument dedicated to the sacrifices of Guam's Chamorro people during World War II, as well as the American servicemen and insular guardsmen who died during defending the island during the war, and those who liberated Guam in the summer of 1944. Mrs. Scambaluri is just one of thousands who lived out that dark chapter in American history. I thank her for her friendship and for representing the thousands of war victims and survivors at this year's wreath laying ceremony at Arlington National Cemetery. Guam's greatest generation, our Manumco, our elders, who endured the war and survived, have much to teach us. And with the occupation of Guam Remembrance Act and the addition of all war claimants to the memorial wall, future generations will see the names of all those who sacrificed dearly for Guam and our future. The victims and survivors of the occupation of Guam are in my prayers today. And I hope that all my colleagues here in Congress will join me in honoring the sacrifices of these very great Americans. God bless Guam, and God bless the United States of America. And with that, Mr. Speaker, I yield back.